Let's look at how fiber optic communications connects the world. This photograph, a composite photograph made by NASA from the International Space Station, shows lights from all the great cities in the world. Here you can see where people live and work around our Earth. If we overlay that photograph with a map of all the undersea fiber optic cables that are currently in operation, you can see how fiber optics connects all the centers of civilization around the Earth. Today, virtually all communications travel on fiber optics. Why is that? This photograph, taken by AT&T in the mid-1970s, before fiber was actually used very much, shows the difference. That single optical fiber can carry many times more communication signals than that giant copper cable. It costs less. The signals carry much further, a thousand times further. And the amount of signals that can be carried on the optical fiber is almost limitless. Thus, fiber has become the real choice for communications. Today, fiber is used everywhere in telecommunications, for telephones, the internet, even fiber to the home, and believe it or not, wireless. It isn't wireless, it's connected with fiber. Fiber is used in computer networks and data centers that store the data that is requested on the internet. Cable TV uses fiber optics for video as well as voice and internet. Utilities use fiber for their own communications but for the management of their power grid. Security systems use fiber for surveillance cameras and, and intrusion sensors. Entertainment, lots of entertainment systems use fiber. You wouldn't believe where it's, that it's used every day. Intelligent highways use fiber. The military uses fiber. Fiber is everywhere. Telecommunications fiber replaces copper radio links. It uses all digital transmission and has replaced all long distance links, most metropolitan links in cities, and is even now being used to connect fiber to the home using passive optical networks. Worldwide, all fiber used is basically using the same state-of-the-art technology. The photograph here shows three fiber optic cables joined outside the entrance to the archaeological dig of the ancient city of Troy in Turkey. Fiber is used in wireless communications for cellular antennas, wireless LANs for Wi-Fi and WiMAX, the Earthlinks for satellites, and it, all of these are connected into worldwide networks on fiber. Your typical cellular phone antenna looks like one of these on these towers. The connections to the towers from the phone system is done on optical fiber. And now, with so many antennas being used on the towers, the coaxial cable that's traditionally been used for them is too heavy. So now they're using fiber up the towers. Fiber is even used to directly connect homes now. New technology makes it cost effective and it allows gigabit speeds straight to the home. The kind of speeds that are necessary for advanced video and internet services. Cable TV systems have been using hybrid fiber coax networks since the mid-90s. The systems actually work on analog signals, simply converting the standard telephone analog signal to an optical signal and con communicating over single mode optical fiber. They overbuild on the coax by actually lashing the fiber usually to the aerial coax or pulling it underground with it. It's very easy to even extend fiber to the home on a cable TV system 
using their own version of passive optical networks called RFOG or RF over glass. If you've seen big screen televisions at sporting events or in areas like the casinos or in Las Vegas or concert halls, those big screen televisions are typically connected on optical fiber. You can see the um, picture on the large screen television in the upper right hand corner of the slide with a cameraman in front. The camera is connected on fiber, the screen is connected on fiber, as they are showing a sports car race through the streets of Long Beach. Below that you can see a giant screen on the strip in Las Vegas, also connected on fiber. Many security systems depend on fiber because cameras, surveillance cameras, are often far away from the monitoring points. So closed circuit TV and intrusion sensors are connected on optical fiber. For those cameras that you see in even the roofs or ceilings of banks, on uh, light poles around cities, and in tunnels. One of the more exciting uses of fiber optics goes back to 1986 when Dr. Ballard at Woods Hole Oceanographic upgraded Jason, their remote piloted vehicle, with optical fiber. So instead of only being able to go a few thousand feet underwater, he could go all the way down 12,000 feet to take pictures of the Titanic. Woods Hole just made another expedition to the Titanic in October of 2010 using more advanced cameras to do 3D pictures of the Titanic. Local area networks use fiber too. Typically the backbone of local area networks is on fiber because those backbones can run 10 gigabits per second. Sometimes fiber is used all the way to the desktop and to connect up wireless access points. In most networks now, it, they seem to be migrating toward fiber backbones, wireless access points, and very little direct cable connection to the desktop because users want mobility. They want their Wi-Fi connected laptops to be able to work anywhere within a building or on a campus. Data centers are where all the data is stored for internet, websites, email, you name it. The internet is very, very fast. Of course, it's all on fiber. And there's so much data being transferred that these data centers require the fastest possible cabling connections you can imagine. Fiber is really the most cost-effective method for connecting servers to storage in data centers. A big advantage is fiber uses only 20% as much power as a Category 6 link. So data centers cable with fiber use much less power and require much less air conditioning. That makes them cheaper. Fiber is used in many industrial applications also. Because fiber is all glass, it's immune to electrical noise. It's also more flexible than copper and can withstand high temperatures. So applications like this welding robot here, shown welding the chassis of a car, can use fiber all the way down the arm right to the welding head in order to monitor and uh, provide data for the systems. Fiber is even being proposed for board level interconnects on high speed computers not just supercomputers, but most computers like servers and high-speed PCs. Copper uses too much power when it has to transmit fast signals. Fiber is faster and has much lower power consumption. Intel is one of the companies promoting this use. Electrical utilities have been using fiber for many years. They need lots of telecommunications over their networks and they also monitor their networks and control the distribution of power. The new systems, which we call smart grid, which are getting even more sophisticated, require fiber from all stations back to a central monitoring facility. Today, fibers often run inside the electrical conductors. Using a uh, system called optical power ground wire, fibers are inside the metal tubes and conductors of high voltage lines. 
Alternative energy systems also need fiber. Wind and solar systems, for example, require precise control to manage the operation and the distribution of power. These systems are typically connected with fiber because they're in very, very large geographic areas. There is a solar heated generation station in the Mojave Desert, like the picture below, that has 750 miles of optical fiber connecting all of the reflectors and the generators. There are other applications of fiber optics for building management, heating and air conditioning, as well as security, traffic control with smart highways, even automotive networks. Tens of millions of cars have their systems controlled by microprocessors and talking to each other over optical fiber inside cars. Fiber is also used for lighting, for signs, for places like swimming pools, and in sensors, specifically for things like high voltage and current, for monitoring chemicals and use in hazardous environments. There's even more interesting applications of fiber optics. You can get underwater housings for cameras that use fiber. Fiber optic switches to control garbage disposals in sinks. Artwork designed using fiber for its visual impact. Interesting uses for lighting. But perhaps the most unusual one is you can buy your Rolls Royce with a star field ceiling that uses fiber optics. We're the Fiber Optic Association the Professional Society of Fiber Optics, dedicated to promoting fiber optics through education, certification, and standardization. You can find lots of more information on fiber on our website at www.thefoa.org.